course, the struggle is over. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> if you hadn't checked out my roots, um, if you hadn't checked out my roots, um, the s s series, um, I need you to go to YouTube, whatever, check it out, amen, because um, this, this is a powerful, powerful series that the Lord, I'm sorry, check. Uh, uh, time we deal with life's issues, amen. It's time we deal with life's issues. So y'all, for the next, let me say this, let me say this, at times, I have, I have wondered why was I spending so much time talking about issues and and things across the pulpit, and then and then I find out that um, that the people are struggling with community and not taking advantage of the community God has around us. We will not make it to our destiny on our own. We just want. It's time we trust the people God has designated that's around our community, man. Right. Because our community breeds unity. And so it's time we, we appreciate what God has, has placed around us. But uh, uh, under today, I want to uh, I want to talk about this uh, subject, and I, I'm going to do it in, in two weeks, so I already have broken it up, so but I've sure. already broke it up, amen, so so, so, so Trina ain't tell me, don't to tell me I can't do all this in one Sunday, I, I've already broken it Bless up, you. Yeah. so uh, um, we're going to do this in two parts, what are we going to do in two parts, the blueprint to forgiveness, I want to talk about the blueprint to Forgiveness. Amen. Amen. Um, gracious Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. And we give you praise for the God. Thank you, Father God, for the assignment on today. Thank you, Father God, for giving me the ability. Thank you, Father God, for giving me the know how how to follow your instruction as I present this assignment for the God. Thank you for the God that the ears of the hearers would be open. Thank you for the God that they would receive the things for the God that you, you are saying to them and, and to us. Father God, right now, Father God, if there's anything I've done that would hinder the word from flowing freely out of me, I actually repent of it right now. And thank you, Father God, just for restoring me so that I might be able to give this word this morning. Thank you, Father God, just for everybody that's that was supposed to be here that's here right now. Right now, for the God, we give you glory for the God for releasing the pain, the bitterness, for the God, and the uh, <clears throat> and and bringing comfort in for the God, so that we might do what you would have us to do. And this is just another issue. It's time for us to get right. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 So, um. Um, I just, I just feel like at times uh, a lot of things are to hinder by us walking in unforgiveness. Right. So then God said, "Give the blueprint to to the forgiveness on today, Amen. Amen. And so, um, if you're here today, let me go ahead and qualify the crowd. If you're here today, there's something in the message for you. Man, not for you to take home and tell your neighbors about it, but it's something you need to digest in the message today. Amen. So um, <clears throat> that's my title. But the, the first thing I do want to talk about is 
The blueprint to forgiveness. I want to talk about the blueprint to forgiveness. Um, y'all know I have a quite a bit of scripture, so y'all get your pads and your pencils ready, and we're gonna write down some scriptures. Mm -hmm. Need you to go over it when you leave here. Please do not do do not refrain from going over these scriptures when you get home, so the Lord can talk back with you. As we go over these scriptures. Amen. 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 So then Ephesians 4, 31 through 32, out of the TBT version. I got my beautiful wife with me. Lady Nicole is in the his ad. All right. Amen. For all the other people, she in the house. Amen. Right. She is here in the house. She live in the pit. And she's gonna, she's gonna. I got you how, don't worry about that. I got you. She's in his ass. Yeah, she's in the house. Amen. Amen. So, so she's going to do some reading for me because I just need to um, highlight some stuff. And then that, after I highlight some stuff, I got three points, my friend. Somebody say three points. Three points. How many points I have? Three. The first one is what? The blueprint to forgiveness. Somebody say the blue, blueprint. The blueprint. To what? Forgiveness. To forgiveness. The blueprint to forgiveness. First scripture is Ephesians 4, 31 through 32. It reads like this. Lay aside bitter words, temper tantrum, mm. revenge, oh. profanity, oh. and insult. Somebody say, have mercy. Have mercy. You know, y'all ain't really got a whole lot of time to do oh, have mercy. So I'm going to get to the nit and the root to the... As my as my uncle would say, the nitty gritty. Hey, Amen. I'm really going to get to the nitty gritty and screw down some stuff. Like that. He said, "Lay aside bitter words." Somebody said, "Bitter words." Bitter words. You no, know, you know, you know. At times, I don't care. I don't care how nice you say your bitter words. They right. still bitter words. Say it. Right. That's what you get. That's what you nice talkers. Nice. And nice. y'all know your little head, your little head waving. Y'all know y'all bitter words is bitter words because because of the way you act when you give your bitter words. Right. Amen. Lay aside bitter words. Lay aside temper tantrum. He's talking to grown people. Uh. If you're gonna throw a tantrum, what the baby gonna do? Right. If you're gonna cry, if you're gonna cry, what the baby gonna do? Yes. If you're gonna sit here and get all up in your feelings, Ooh. what the baby gonna do? It said, let aside revenge. Yeah. Yep. Church folks, yeah. he ain't talking to the world. He's talking to church folks trying to get even. Yes. Do y'all know? And sometimes, Glimp, I've done this how I have. I have tried to get even with Nicole by shutting my mouth. Because y'all, believe it or not, sometimes she really wants me to talk to her. Sometimes. And then sometimes she really wants me to be Joe and run this thing. And, and then I call myself punishing her by not running this thing. And, 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 uh, and to be honest with you, I'm only punishing who? Yeah. Because I'm going to talk her. I only know how to seek revenge. Without hurting myself. Right. Anybody hearing me? Yeah. Right. If this thing on, right. y'all, I'm going to screw this thing down so tight when we get finished, you're going to know how to forgive. Amen. Right. Now, y'all, watch this. I cannot walk in vengeance. I don't care what you said they done to you. Mm -hmm. keep, keep on looking forward. And then, yeah. about know. Talking about. And then now, watch this. Left side. Oh, that's what y'all know. Cussing. Oh, that's how I cussing. Uh, uh, I know you don't cuss at church. Uh, some of us don't. I know you don't cuss on church grounds because some of us been trained there. Uh, Man, some of y'all be wondering how people do things on church grounds. Uh, but do y'all watch this? The earth is the Lord's. Yes. Uh, so every ground you own is the Lord's. It's church ground. Right. Watch your mouth, you cussing Christians. Yes, Get the dictionary, open it up. Broaden your, broaden your vernacular. Broaden your vocabulary. So hell and damn don't fly out. 
That's just, and them ain't the words y'all use, that's why I use them. Y'all say, them soft, that's too soft. <laughs> when, when you start talking about real cuss, cuss don't cuss like that. Y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Right, we do. Let me start about y'all. We know what. That's right. Lord, forgive me. Yes, forgive me, Lord. As you watch your mouth. And insults. Huh? We're always trying to hurt somebody that's to hurt us. Right. With insults. Huh? I feel y'all like that. Huh? I can preach if I have my sister in here with me. <laughs> we go way, way back. <laughs> Y'all got to excuse them because only, sometimes only they do stuff like that. Amen. Right. So uh, uh, um, we need to stop insulting people trying to get even too. Right. 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 Yeah, good. 32 says this. Let's go, baby. I got to run. Amen. My clock running. But instead, be kind and affectionate toward one another. Yeah. Has God graciously forgiven you? Mm -hmm. Then graciously forgive one another in the depths of Christ's love. So then whenever you see something blue, this is the blueprint. Right. Be kind. That's what you want us to be. That's the blueprint. Yeah. Be kind. Affectionate yeah. towards one another. Affectionate. Affectionate. Am I saying that right? Uh -huh. yes. Okay, okay, okay. Am I niece? Okay, okay. I got to, I got to, I got to look at niece because over when I don't say the rest of life. <laughs> My uncle. <laughs> she won't try to correct me. She just be like, "No, um, that ain't the word." So, um, kind and affectionate towards one another. Kind and affectionate towards one another. Yes. God's gracefully forgiven you. So why do you have to forgive them? Because God forgave you. you. That's right. Let it go. It's the blue. I should have named it. It's the blueprint. <laughs> I'm at the table thinking there. I like that one a little better. It's the blueprint. Yeah. So gracefully forgive one another. Yes. In the deep, in the depths of Christ's love. Amen. Uh huh. I gotta run, y'all. So let's keep going. Colossians three. 12 through 14 out of the message Bible. Amen. Y'all please write these down. Y'all can go talk about it uh, under and read about it later. Amen. But y'all, let's put a little, let's put a little God on it. Amen. Okay. 12 says this. So chosen by God for this new life of love. Somebody say new life. New life. Somebody say new life. New life. I got this new life of love. It's the what? New love. It's the blueprint. Amen. Go ahead, baby. Dress in the wardrobe God picked out for you. Mm -hmm. Compassion, mm -hmm. kindness, mm -hmm. humility, mm -hmm. quiet strength. Mm -hmm. this Dress in the wardrobe God picked out for you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You snapping neck Christians. <laughs> dress in the dress code God picked out for you. Right. You nice, smiling, Snapping neck and on inside Christians, right? Because y'all know some of them to perfect it. Yes, they have. And be just <laughs> weighing you to pieces, right? I read somebody to just, to just come on out and just say, I don't know about. Yeah. Some of some of us been trained right, amen. amen. And so let's have compassion, let's have kindness, humility, quiet strength. Discipline. Discipline yourself. Thirteen says this. Be even tempered, content with second place. Oh, uh oh. Go ahead. Quick to forgive and offend. Mm -hmm. Forgive as quickly and completely as the master forgave you. Somebody say it's the blueprint. It's, it's the blueprint. blueprint. Amen. Amen. Be even tempered. Be even tempered. Meaning, stop going off. Amen. I need that one too. Just stop going off. Can I just stop going off? Can I just stop going off on people? Mm. Christian folks, can we just stop going off? Can we not always want to 
to be the one in the limelight. Mm. Can we not always make it about you? Right. Mm. That's why some of your friends don't talk to you. Because every time they talk to you, you, th you tend to turn everything to you. Right. Y'all know people like that. Yes. And if you don't, you that person. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know nobody like that. Then you is you is it. <laughs> oh, 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 you is it. <laughs> you is it. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to get her to look at me like, mm, oh, come on. Okay, fourteen says this, y'all. Let's roll. I gotta go. And regardless of what else you put on, mm -hmm. wear love. Mm -hmm. It's your basic, all-purpose garment. Like it. Never be without it. Oh, wow. sometimes, sometimes I be wondering, why don't I read the word? If it gets clear to me, yeah. Lord have mercy. Wear love. Regardless of anything else, yes. put on love. Wear it's the basic, yes. all-purpose garment. Like y'all remember when Baby Boy said, um, "You can wear this." Just an all-purpose dress. You can you can take this dress to the club out and then go to the purpose dress. Y'all be like, y'all know. Okay, y'all, y'all, y'all have like y'all never seen baby boy. Okay. okay, I understand. I understand. I understand. Hey, Amen. You got this all-purpose stuff. Y'all, love is all-purpose garment. It fits anywhere. Right. It fits anywhere. Never be without it. It's the blueprint. I done lost some of y'all already, amen. I'm going to try to pick you up later, amen. Y'all check this out. Ask kingdom agents. Somebody say kingdom agents. Kingdom agents. That's what I am. As kingdom agents. That's what I am. That's what I am. As kingdom agents. That's what I am. Okay, now watch this. As kingdom agents, we are designed to forgive. Y'all listen, y'all listen, y'all listen. I know some of y'all are already finished shutting off, but, but please give me, give me about another minute or two. Amen. Now, now that we have this new life, right. it is actually in our nature to forgive. Right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me go on, let me go on. As kingdom agents, forgiveness is what we do. And no other response to our offenders will ever really satisfy us. Did y'all see that right there? Somebody take a picture of this one and read this when you get home. Because we've been trying to do it another kind of way and we ain't been satisfied. Y'all check this out. Only forgiveness will satisfy us right. as kingdom agents. Our Father urges us to forgive others just as He has forgiven us. I didn't make the blueprint up. It's the blueprint. Let's keep going. I gotta go, y'all. Amen. Watch this. As kingdom agents, mm -hmm. real, 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 real forgiveness looks like this. Okay. It is when we decide to cancel the debt of others. Mm -hmm. It's when we decide to cancel the debt of others regardless of whether they ever admit to what they did to wrong us or owns up to how they hurt us. Right. It's to cancel the debt anyway. Right. Let me keep going because I only want to look up right now. Okay, so y'all watch this. This, this may seem like a hard choice for us to make, but, but to remember that we are kingdom agents designed by God to forgive. Kingdom agents designed by God to forgive. This is the wrong day to walk out the house without your wardrobe on. Right. Yeah. What wardrobe? The love wardrobe. This is the wrong day. Only when we choose to release others of what they owe us uh -huh. will we totally be fulfilled at the core of us. 
Do y'all know that at times we can, we can, we can be dealing with, with, with unforgiveness to where it gets to the core of us. And every time you see these people, it just do something to you. Right. Right. You ever told yourself, I, I just don't want to see them no more. Because they do something. To, they still do something to me. Only forgiveness heals that at the core of you. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Y'all listen, this, this is just the blueprint. Now, now you can live life and bitterness all you want to, but I'm trying to give you the, the blueprint to get out of this thing. Right. Save some of your health benefits. Right. Save some trips to the hospital. Save some trips to the psychiatrist. If you just do it God's way, prepare yourself every morning with the love wardrobe. We might feel that they are indebted to us and should therefore receive retaliation from us as a form of payback. How many of us say, the only way I can fix this is that I get even with them? I get them. Oh, okay. I know. I know. Y'all ain't never said that. You ain't never tried to get even, have you? You never tried to pay back, have you? Wow. You ain't never tried to seek your revenge through retaliation. Jesus. Call her wrong me. The only way to get, the only way this can be even is that I wrong her back. Lip wrong me, I wrong her back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wrong Christ, Christ forgave me. Right. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. Don't that sound different? Right. God's way and your way? Yes, Ain't it quite different? Right. While you was running, wow, buck wow, I hear you, Nick Cannon. While you was wowing out, Christ right. died for you. Right. Come on, Mila. I hear you, Nick Cannon. I know some of y'all don't, don't, don't even look at that either. Amen. But the but, but y'all do know what wowing out me. Some of y'all wowing out. And Christ forgave you. Right. Y'all check this out. But true forgiveness is a y'all listen, y'all listen, write this down somewhere. True forgiveness is a no string attached. True forgiveness don't have little little strings attached. I'ma forgive you if you never hurt me no more. I'm going to forgive you. You don't do that no more. Forgiveness is a no strings attached. Total release from anything we think they owe us or deserve as a punishment. And I like that part because y'all sometimes I, I used to want to punish people back for punishing me. You know, y'all sometimes can I be honest with y'all and y'all uh -huh. go about the church. Sometimes waiting on the Lord sometimes don't feel too good sometimes. Don't feel like my enemy is getting what they, they deserve. Right. I'm being honest with you. Sometimes it, it, it don't seem like God doing it the way, the way I can do it. Right. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Yeah. The let rip know he done nerved me. Right. I can't know how fast with God can. Yeah. Huh? Anybody listen at me? Right. I know y'all listening. I know y'all listening. But y'all, today, I want to, I hear you, Martin. I hear you, Martin Lawrence, in that movie. Uh, and I want to penetrate your soul. <laughs> I want to penetrate your soul so you act different. All right, man. Huh? Somebody say, penetrate me, Jesus. Penetrate me, Jesus. Penetrate me, too, Jesus. Penetrate this, this the very core of me that's holding on forgiveness. Right. Coming, I'm coming in. I'm coming with, with the blueprint today. Yes, Lord. Amen. I'm coming with the blueprint. Right. Amen. So that though I can walk in what God has. Somebody say number two. Number two. Number two is forgiveness must be a choice. Right. I love it. I love it. Must be something you choose to do. Forgiveness has got to be a choice. What's Rev talking about? I'm glad you asked. Watch this. Luke 23 and 34 out of the NIV reads like this. Jesus said, Jesus said, mm -hmm. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Uh huh. And they divided up his clothes by casting lots. Ooh, Lord, that thing full of, 
full of a whole lot of good stuff. And let, I wish I had enough time to unpack this one scripture here. But y'all watch this. Somebody say, Jesus said. Jesus said. Somebody say, Jesus said. Jesus said. Jesus chose to forgive. Somebody say, Jesus said. Jesus said. Oh, put your, put your name in front, right there where Jesus, Jesus is. And you say, Joe said. Somebody, one, two, three. Joseph, amen. Joseph, Joseph, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Now watch this, y'all. After you ask God to forgive them, guess what they did? They started gambling over you. They started casting lots over you. They started. They started to increase the pressure. Right. Huh? They act right. That's right. They didn't start acting right. This thing on? Yes. Because some of y'all want to forgive people that's going to act right at the end. Right. These folks still didn't act right. That's right. Wish they had enough time to, to dissect this. Let's run on. Y'all get the picture. Matthew 6, 14 through 15 out of the message Bible. You're going to like this one here. 14 says this, baby. In prayer, uh -huh. there is a connection between what God does and what you do. Ooh, did did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? You're praying Christian, did you hear that? There's a connection between what God does uh -huh. and what you do. In prayer, there is a connection between what God does and what you do. I see some blue. I see some blue. It must be blue. Blueprint coming up. Keep reading, baby. You can't get forgiveness from God, for instance, without also forgiving us. Ooh. Lord have mercy. Yeah. God won't release your wrongdoing if you don't release other people's wrongdoing yeah. to you. Yeah, that's good. Be not, I like this one now, y'all. I should have put this right up under this. Pastor would have said this. Pastor Miller would have said this. Y'all remember back on Lamb Street, he would have said this. Be not deceived. God is not marked. Yeah. For whatsoever man soweth, that's your Yes, sir. You sow unforgiveness. You reap on forgiveness. Right. I like God. God just he give what you give. That's right. Hmm? That's good. Hey, glory. Woo, help me, Jesus. Yeah. Help him. Help him. 15 says this. Y'all watch this. If you refuse to do your part, you cut yourself off from God's part. Y'all, oh. y'all watch this. I like how God deal with us. I like how he deal with us. He ain't say he's going to make you do it. Right. He said, if you refuse, right. you got a choice in it. Yeah. You got to choose yeah. to forgive. That's right. But if you don't do your part, you cut yourself off from, from God's part. So why am I cut off? Because of what I've done. Right. Okay. Okay, y'all still there? Yes, sir. Hey, man, yes. let's keep moving there. Y'all don't cut yourself off. From God doing his part because you won't do your part because you refuse to do your part. You refuse to do your part. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I still want vengeance. Mm, I still want to retaliate. Mm, anybody still want to retaliate? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Lord, help me penetrate my core today. Mm, invade my privacy. Open up the door and look in my sneaky room. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah, Lord. That's right. God's people didn't know in your sneaky room. Right. We all have a sneaky room. Don't try to like you ain't got no sneaky room. Huh? And God bless you. put five, five seconds of your sneaky room in. Oh. On this, on this oh. billboard right here, you run up out of here. You run up out of here. You say, sanctified. Fear with the Holy Ghost, saint. Come on. Huh? You run up out of here. If God show five seconds of your sneaky room. That's fine. Woo! Lord said, I'm trying to keep it between us, but you're getting out of hand. Right. But you're getting out of hand. Talk to me, Jesus. Penetrate my soul, Jesus. Despite the overwhelming rejection and, and the physical pain, Jesus made the choice to forgive. Despite the overwhelming rejection and physical pain, Jesus made the
the choice to forgive. Choices. Now, 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 that's that same Jesus lives in us. Oh, that's perfect. That same Jesus lives in the what Jesus that made the choice to forgive. He lives in us. But y'all watch this. Watch the y'all like this from here. Sometimes we hesitate to forgive others because we don't feel like forgiving. Hmm. Yeah. I think I I think I just hit somebody. Oh Lord. You basing your forgiveness off of whether you feel like doing it or not. Right. Mm. You might still, we might still feel a great deal of anger towards the one we need to forgive. I'm still mad at him. Y'all still mad at the person that done you wrong? I know you're not. But, but y'all still mad at the one that done you wrong? So we decide that we are not in any condition to forgive. Have y'all ever said, I'm not even in the condition to forgive. I can't even deal with this now. Uh -uh. I can't even deal with this now. Anybody ever said that? Yes. I can't even deal with this now. Mm. I'll talk to you later. I can't deal with you right now. I ain't in no condition to forgive. However, forgiveness is not a feeling. 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 It's not emotional. Wow. Ooh, your emotions will lie to you. Your right. feelings will have you like a seesaw up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Forgiveness is not a feeling. Forgiveness is a choice, not a feeling. It is about choosing to cancel a debt owed to you. That's the second time I done said that. Cancel a debt owed to you. Yeah, they owe you something, but you're going to cancel it. Don't that sound like what Jesus done for us? Yes. So we're going to be Christ-like. Where that baby? I don't want to hear the baby now. I don't want to hear the baby hollering for me now. No. Jeez, okay, let's keep going. Let's, let's keep. Yes, we might feel that someone owes us an apology. Uh -huh. And until they ask me to forgive them, I won't release them. Wow. Or that they should make up for what they've done to us. I won't forgive them until I see them. I see them have been paid. That they done, they done, they done, they done, done right by me. Right. I hear you. I hear you, Color Pepper. Everything you've done. <laughs> Ain't that just like us? <laughs> Ooh! Because they owe us big time. They done hurt me to the core. Yes. Oh, Lord. Jesus. I'm glad I wrote this stuff down. Because the. Cause the way y'all giving me, giving the giving off this vibe now, oh. I just need to go on in. I, I ain't scared though. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I like it, I like it, I like it. But, 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 but forgiveness is releasing them from the debt and giving up the right to hold a grudge. It's not releasing them and keeping a grudge. Uh -huh. It's releasing them and giving up your right to hold the grudge. Like yes. In other words, I'm going to say, acting like they ain't did nothing to you. Right. Oh, Lord, I'm coming down your way. I'm coming down your way. Making this choice to forgive may go against everything you currently feel. Right. I don't feel like Nicole deserved me to forgive her. Mm. Nicole don't feel like Joe deserved her forgiveness. Right. Huh? Right. Anybody ever felt like they just didn't deserve it? Right. Right. And your feelings start lying to you. Now our feelings were not like this, so our feelings may cry out against the whole ideal of forgiveness. 
our feelings may not want us to forgive. And so they might have this temper tantrum when it come down to forgiving. Amen. However, somebody say however. However. I had to, had to let y'all say that so y'all say something back to me. Uh, however, we must choose to, or oh, the blueprint, we must choose to mirror what God did when he chose to forgive us. While I was wilding out. Yep. He sold out. Yes. And forgave me. Right. So now it's time for me to mirror what I've been given. Amen. Amen. Quite simple. This ain't this ain't nothing too hard. Amen. Y'all watch this. I gotta go. Alright, check this out. I got one more to do outside this. Okay, so y'all watch this. We do not have to wait for our feelings. To come on board. We can set our mind on the truth of what needs to be done. We can choose to forgive and release others from the debt owed to us. Then from that day forward, we choose to remember the choice we made. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. We choose to continue to live in agreement with the choice we made. I gotta run, I ain't got no time to dissect some of this, y'all. Y'all going to get it. Get it when you read it, when you go back home, amen. The Lord will speak to you, amen. And in your quiet time, he'll tell you what, what, what he wanted me to say at this time. Y'all watch this. Our feelings may or may not line up with our choice, mm -hmm. but we must still choose to forgive and release them, that's what really matters anyway. Yeah. Is that we release them to free us. Yeah. That's what really matters anyway. Gotta run. So, somebody say three. Three. Forgiveness is not forgetting. Oh. Okay. I ain't forgot before that. He asked you to forget. Hmm? That's right. I'm coming right down your alley. I'm gonna talk right to you today. Amen. I ain't even no amen. So so this morning I played this song that said amen 30 times, man. Amen, amen. Huh? It just kept saying amen to me. Because I ain't think I was gonna get none today, man. Wives don't wanna forgive husbands. Husbands don't wanna forgive wives. Mamas don't wanna forgive daughters. Daughters don't wanna forgive mama. Daddy don't wanna for, 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 forgive son. Son don't wanna to, to forgive. Fathers, friends, fall out. The only thing we forgive is teeth and tongue. You ever bit your tongue? You say, ooh. You ain't fall out with it, did you? No. Because to fall out is, is to cut it out. Like you're gonna cut off all your. Mm, because I can't deal with them today. Hebrew 8 and 12. Amplified classic version says this. Go ahead, baby. For I will be merciful mm -hmm. and gracious toward their sin, mm -hmm. and I will remember their deeds of unrighteousness no more. Amen. I will be merciful, graceful towards their sin. I will remember the deeds of unrighteousness no more. Remember the deeds of righteousness no more. Y'all watch this. Y'all don't love it. I'm coming right at you. Uh, Hebrew 10 and 6. 17 out of the NIV says this. Then he adds, mm -hmm. their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. Their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. Y'all watch this. I gotta, I gotta say something and then though, I'm gonna be done. I promise you. I'm gonna get us out here a little earlier than, than what we did last time. Y'all watch this. Forgiveness is not forgetting. Mm -hmm. It is literally impossible to erase the memory in our brain. Right. Y'all follow me. Listen to me because, because we've been buying that lie that I can't forget. That's why I can't forgive. And it ain't about forgetting. We may always have the memory of the event that hurt us. So forgiveness does not mean we forget. Right. <laughs> Keep going. Y'all still out there? Yes. yes. Let's keep going. God said, 
He will remember our sins no more. He is not some forgetful old man who accidentally uh, misplaced them. God ain't like, like though he don't know what we done. Right. No, God simply chooses not to hold our sins against us in any way. Amen. That's good. Thank you, Lord. Not that he didn't forget. Right. He yeah. just chooses not to hold them against us. Thank you. So, so then forgiveness means we choose not to hold any offense against anyone. Ooh, y'all, this getting kind of hard here. Somebody, somebody, um, Somebody need to remember that scripture I read last week. Don't make me pull and tug with you. When I'm trying to take you places you've never been before. I'm pulling and tugging somebody and it shouldn't be this hard for you to hear the Lord. I'm pulling and tugging with somebody that's refusing to listen. Shouldn't be this hard. No, you forgive. If not you, then who? If not now, then when? Right. Don't make the thug come out of me. I'm trying to do this nice little. Yeah. <laughs> but Lord, y'all making me pull with you along the way, man. Don't, don't tug with me, man. Just kind of ease up a little bit, amen. Let me go and get through this, amen. So y'all watch this. We choose to, we choose not to hold any offense against against someone. Not that. Not that we actually forget what happened. Not that you actually forget what happened. You refuse to hold any offense against someone that has offended you. Let's go, I gotta go. Even when we truly forgive them, we may still have a memory of the event for a long time. That is normal. Is to remember something to, that is normal to be expected, and that does not mean it does not mean whether or not we truly forgave them. So, because the devil bring up what they done, doesn't mean I had released them of it. But when they will bring up what they done, I still don't. I, I I'm still not holding a grudge with them. Amen. Even though my memory is playing tricks with me right now, I can remember what she done. Mm. And she hurt me. I thought we was closer than that. And they broke my soul. So don't let nobody have that much power to break your soul. To damage you to the core. Mm. Don't give nobody that much power over you. Regardless of what we feel or what memories may pass through our mind, we can always remember the choice we make to forgive. We should also recall the day we released our offenders from anything they owed us. So just like you remember what they done, don't forget to remember the day you released them from what they done. Right. Both of them are memories. If what they done is coming back up to you, you releasing them should come back up to you. But, the, but, the, but guess what though? I got over that. I got over that about five days after that. I'm done for that. It don't run me no more. Huh? Or you can choose to um, get the pouty mouth. Y'all know the pouty mouth people. Yeah. Uh, I know, I know, I know sometimes I'm a grown man and uh, I get the pouty mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. The pouty mouth about what God tells us to release people from. I'm about done with you, y'all. I really am. I know I've stayed too long already. This is how, y'all listen to this. This is how we mirror God's, how God forgave us. This is how we, we mirror it. This is the blueprint to freeing us from anger and bitterness. 
This is the only way to freedom from our past pains and hurt is to forgive and set them free. And then set them free. Miraculously, you free yourself. To never to hold these grudges anymore. I'm gonna stop right here. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'll pick this up next week. I'll pick this up next week. Do not forget. We all have this new life. Uh -huh. Heading in this new direction to, towards this new day. Still in pursuit of God's love. Don't forget. Don't forget. We have a new life. We're headed in a new direction. We can't head it. We can't have a new life holding grudges. We can't have it. We can't be headed in, in a new direction holding grudges. Right. We can't have our new day holding grudges. Roots! We get into the root of the matter. Time we deal with life's issues. The blueprint to forgiveness. May God bless and keep you is my prayer. For we're living life in.